another winter arrives in our small village. Perched on the edge of the Pennines, and at times exposed to extreme weather conditions, Green Moor is surrounded by open farmland and isolated areas of woodland. The feeders are very busy, and our local birds take full advantage of the treats on offer. Robins. Both house and tree sparrows. Blue tits and great tits are common. Blackbirds thrive here and they're joined by their continental cousins, the red wing, during the winter. We're lucky to have yellow hammers and greenfinch as regular visitors. But occasionally, the odd wintering brambling might join them. All the way from Scandinavia and Northern Europe, and eventually arriving in Green Moor. In 15 years, I had only seen a handful of brambling in the village. So when three birds appeared in January, I never expected what was to follow. They were nervous at first, sitting in the trees, but eventually visited the feeders over a number of days. Gradually numbers increased, but within days, there was a tragedy. A number of birds started to become ill, they appeared lethargic with feathers fluffed up and obviously having difficulty swallowing. It was a disease I had seen before, trichomonosis. This disease, caused by a parasite, affects the back of the throat and gullet of the birds. It has been prevalent in finches in the UK, particularly greenfinch and chaffinch, and can be transmitted at feeding stations. I sent a corpse of a brambling to the British Trust for Ornithology for analysis, and this confirmed my fears. It was trichomonosis. The only course of action was to suspend feeding for at least two weeks, remove all of the feeders and disinfect everything. When the suspension period had ended, I decided to change my feeding strategy and started to use a broadcast method, scattering food across the lawn. Brambling are normally ground feeders and I quickly had astonishing results. Within days, I had up to 50 birds feeding on the lawn. An incredible sight. These large numbers continued through to March and as spring approached, the males were developing their beautiful breeding plumage with almost pure black head and back and bright orange breast and shoulders. They were becoming territorial and having arguments, often calling and sometimes even singing. stay and breed, but this was too much to ask for, surely. Sadly, it wasn't to be. Suddenly, over a few days in mid-April, they all left, and the brambling invasion of 2019 was over. <laughs> 